Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room tuning process. Um, we, we have a dealer training program. I think we have six dealers that are in the training program right now. And in that training program, we do it in phases. We, they have their room, obviously. And we do it in phases. We treat the four wall uh, uh, absorption and pressure and reflections, of course, but those are secondary right now. Right now we're focusing on the four walls and low frequency pressure issues. And we have to focus on low, feel, uh, low frequency problems first. You just simply can't ignore this. And this is very important. We have three sound fields that produce pressure. Floor to ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. They all produce pressure because they all produce dimensions that low frequency energy just doesn't like. That's the easiest way to explain it. Let's forget about and trying to understand the mathematics of it. It's just that the dimensions of your room aren't physically comparable to the wavelengths of low frequency energy. It's just physics. It doesn't fit. So when it doesn't fit, we get room modes, we get reverb on, on the, the ray energy, the mids and the highs. It's, it's a compounding effect with problems. So we can't ignore that there's three surface areas that we're trying to work with. Average surface area coverage we found in the last 17 years, 18 years of doing this, tens of thousands of units in the field. I never had a caster failure. <laughs> I'm more proud of that, I think, than anything. Anyway, the bottom line is that you got to have about 50 to 65 percent so you notice in most of our rooms we work in are eight feet right now. So that's why our units are five feet, 60 inches. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for everything I do. And when you have a company, there has to be in the products that you design and everything else. So you have to adopt the products and make sure it works. So we got to increase the absorption, the surface area of the absorption for low frequency pressure. Because let's just focus on the four walls now. So we have these four walls producing big pressure waves, right? Okay, here and here and here. I mean, the, we don't stand a chance. We're continually bombarded by it. So diaphragmatic absorption with our carbon technology is the most powerful. Diaphragmatic absorption, most powerful of the three. We know the Hemholtz membrane. Done many videos on those. So just research those. But we use diaphragmatic and we put our carbon in, which controls the rate of absorption. Anybody can build a box that goes down to 40 hertz, but getting a lot at 40 hertz, we get 63%. It's hard to do, and that's where the carbon comes in, okay? So in this room here, ACDA12 picture, uh, that, or I'm sorry, ACDA12s and 10s were used. The 10s are 30 to 300, the 12s are 30 to 50. All small rooms, we measured over 300 during our research and development period. All small rooms need help from 30 to 300 and 30 to 50. You need a lot of help from 30 to 50, not as much help from 30 to 300, but they still need help. And, and this is the balance. This is more broadband and this is more frequency specific. So you got to hit that 30 to 50 hard in any room. Those wavelengths just don't fit in almost any dimension unless it's over 40 feet. And that's pretty hard to do. So for the phase one of this project, we did four walls. It's all absorption. Okay, so look at what we do, because we run hard at 30 to 1K. For phase one, that's what I go after. And look at this graphic. Look at it again. You see how our stuff is very, very powerful. I think this is 16 units to produce that. Now we have some issues. Of course, we have 1500 to 15 K, but let's think about those issues. What are those? I'm going to give you a little hint. It begins with a T. Those of you who said tangential, you're right. And we'll go after those too. Phase two. Then there's a the phase three. Room tuning is a process. We break it up into three phases. It works well for us. It works well for our technology. And you can see by that response curve, almost challenge anybody to beat that with the surface area that we've done in this size volume and room. You just can't because you don't have that kind of horsepower. You don't have, you know, 
4,000 pounds of treatment in, in the four walls because four units is 1,000 pounds. And that's what you need. There's no band-aids for pressure waves. You gotta have horsepower. There's your result right there. Room tuning, stage three, stage two coming up. Stage three coming up after that, so stay tuned. I really hope this helps. Those of you out there are, are always wanting numbers. So here's one that I think you all can relate to. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.